go. All right, please rise uh, for the pledge led by Mrs. Zerinsky. To the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. Mrs. Zembo, could you call the roll, please? Mr. Deeds. Here. Mrs. Ferrara. Here. Mr. Heckman. Here. Mr. Kraft. Here. Mr. Kraft. Here. Mr. Here. Mr. Here. Mr. Here. Here. Mr. Here. Mr. Here. Mr. Here. All present. Thank you. Need a motion to approve June 21's meeting? Uh, move to approve by acclamation, Mr. President. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Uh, next thing on the agenda is courtesy of the floor. I have one person, Mr. Michael Colon. I got it right. Okay. From Broad Street in Bethlehem. City Council member. That's not important, nor why I'm here this evening. Uh, I'm here on behalf for the uh, citations that you're going to be given to the five boys who completed their Eagle Scout. Mm -hmm. I'm here from Graysdale. As you know, I work over there uh, at Graysdale, and I just want to say all five of those boys uh, deserve it. I thank you guys for taking the time to recognize them, for uh, council, everyone on council for taking the time. All five of them took their projects very seriously, worked within the given timeline that they had, uh, communicated with me and the rest of the staff and the residents on what would be best for the facility, and I'm happy to say that all five projects worked out very well and are being used you know, today in one capacity or another. So I just wanted to share our gratitude up from Graysdale to all five of them. It's uh, Jack is here and then Pete should be here. Also maybe running late, but that's all I have. Have a good evening, everyone. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else like to address County Council for courtesy of the floor? Seeing no one. Uh, next thing we're gonna go is, uh, you said Pete was here? Peter's here? Yeah. Jack, Jack is, is here. here. Okay, we're gonna switch around a little bit. Um, Gonna, we have a proclamation for you. Uh, Jack Quinn, uh, Troop 78, he constructed and installed two new planter boxes along with two little lending libraries for the Graysdale Gardens. The planter boxes are used for residents, gardening projects, while the lending libraries were added to the walking paths of the Graysdale Gardens for everyone to use. Mr. Deese will read the proclamation. Yeah, whereas John Quinn, a member of Boy Scout Troop 78, St. John's United Church of Christ, Nazareth, Pennsylvania, and now therefore resolved by Orange County County Council that it does honor, commend, and recognize the achievements mm -hmm. uh, of the untiring dedication to the pursuit of excellence and the goal which may stri strive to attain what few achieve. Thank you very much. All right, I'm going to jump forward a little bit. Uh, we have Nicholas Marth from Troop 76, who is not present, but he installed a tribute to the armed forces in the Graysdale Gardens. The project is open to the public and involved putting in a headstone with the insignia of each branch of the U.S. military around a newly planted tree. Uh, the next person was uh, Andrew Miller from Troop 78. He rehabilitated the Graysdale Cemetery, including raising headstones, installing a sign identifying the grounds, and repairing the existing fence. And the last one we have here is Jonathan Werner, Troop 76. He rehabilitated four existing planter boxes in the Graysdale Gardens and built tabletop gardens for the residents' use. These allow residents at Graysdale to continue their passion for gardening. Uh, we thank everybody. I will move on with the meeting, and when Pete shows up, we'll read his proclamation, okay? Hopefully he gets here soon. I'm speedy. All right. <laughs> All right, next thing is the county executive report. Mr. McClure isn't here, so there isn't any. Um, old business, of a public hearing on the ordinance entitled an ordinance providing for the conveyance of a 50-foot wide right-of-way owned by Northampton County located in the Upper Nazareth Township to PPL Electric Utilities Corporation to undertake the construction, reconstruction, operation, and maintenance of its overhead and underground electrical and communication facilities, including two poles and one anchor guy. Uh, the ordinance was introduced by Mr. McGee and Mr. Zerinsky at the June 21st meeting. Public hearing, debate, and possible vote will be held at this meeting. Does anybody from the public wish to address County Council on this matter? Seeing none. Uh, anybody from County Council have any more comments? Discussion? Seeing none. Uh, call for the vote, please. Mr. McGee. Yes. Mr. Zerinsky. Yes. Mrs. Ferrara. Yes. Mr. Heckner. Yes. Mr. Kraft. Yes. Ms. Fargo Hefner. Yes. Mr. Warner. Yes. Mr. Kuzik. Yes. And Mr. Deese. Yes. Passes by a vote of
Thank you. Uh, any other old business? Mr. Cousy. Um, this is more of a question for uh, our solicitor. Um, we passed a resolution uh, regarding the GPA at our last meeting, and uh, we did receive correspondence from um, the GPA's uh, solicitor, I believe, or one, someone uh, from that firm. I guess my question is, is that a public document, and could it be released if, if we wanted to? I see no prohibition. I think it's a public document. Okay. There is no personal information in there. There is no protected information. Mm -hmm. There was a communication, I believe, to myself that I shared with counsel that was addressed to Solicitor Rudis as well. Uh, I'm seeing her nodding her head that she thinks it's a public document as well. It can go where it needs to go. Okay. Well, thank you. That's all I had. Mr. Connor, I want to ask uh, um, the letter did contradict much of what we said and what we apparently found out. Um, and uh, I don't know, I mean, I think at some point I'd like to get, not necessarily tonight, but uh, the, the solicit our solicitor's opinion vis-a-vis -vis that letter versus what we did in terms of what they're saying in their interpretation and how that applies to the resolution we passed. Okay. And also, we got to think about if we're going to go any further with this regarding the All right, thank you. Um, back to our presentations. Uh, Pete just came in the room, Mr. Peter Gladstone. Could you come up to the mic, please? Uh, Mr. Deese is going to come down and read your proclamation. Uh, Mr. Peter Gladstone, Troop 44, installed a new garden to beautify a common area on Greystone grounds near the Bain entrance. He turned a patch of grass into a full garden, including a bird bath, weather rock, and paved area for residents to relax around one of the busiest outdoor areas. Gladstone, a member of Boy Scout Troop 44, Bushkill Township, Volunteer Fire Department, Bushkill, Pennsylvania, and now therefore hereby resolve by Northampton County Council that it does honor, commend, and recognize the achievements of Peter Gladstone, his untiring dedication to the pursuit of excellence, a goal which many stri strive to attain but few achieve. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Thank you to all the uh, boys, all the uh, new Eagle Scouts who, who did their projects for Graysdale. It's quite an achievement to become an Eagle Scout. I uh, only have like four friends that became Eagle Scouts. It's a lot of work, and we appreciate everything you guys have done to, to get to that. Uh, next thing we're up, new business. Uh, consideration of a donation by the American Chestnut Foundation resolution. Uh, Ms. Zarensky, could you introduce the resolution, please? Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Northampton County Council that it does hereby accept the donation of 24 chestnut seedlings from the American Chestnut Foundation. Chestnut seedlings. <clears throat> Any discussion on receiving trees? Seedlings. seedlings. Where are we They're going to be trees. Well, where will we put them? Uh, that's up to the Parks Department, I imagine. That's a lot of chestnuts. It'll be a nice forest in 40 years. I won't be here, but it'll be nice. Okay. <laughs> Any other real discussion on receiving these trees? No, Call for the vote, the please. Mr. Mr. Rinsky? Yes. Mr. Heckman? Yes. Mr. Kraft? Yes. Mr. McGee? Yes. Ms. Fargo Heckman? Yes. Mr. Warner? Yes. Mr. Kuzik? Yes. Mr. Dietz? Yes. Mrs. Ferraro? Yes. Passes by vote of 9 to 0. Thank you. Is there any other new business to discuss at County Council? Mr. Kuzik? Yes. Uh, we received correspondence today regarding a bridge from the GPA. Yeah, they um, <laughs> and I guess their question to us or to the administration was what specifically uh, are uh, are the administration's intentions or council intentions? I believe it's the one uh, in East Allen Township uh, with regard to the Rockefeller project. Allen. Um, uh, Allen? Yeah. Okay. Uh, are you aware of it and is there any I, I, update? Isn't that the one us? that uh, they want three lanes and GPA has two lanes and the, you know build it with two and they'll pay for the third? This may be the single most overly discussed bridge we have yeah. in the project. <laughs> uh, and, and at the great attempt to be brief in this response, 
The administration has made it very clear that despite all of the rumors, innuendos, discussions, whispers, that bridge is still part of the project. We are dedicated to, as has been said many times, completing the project. But we also believe that because there was a developer's agreement in place with Allen Township, uh, their solicitor, Link Treadwell, who had been a solicitor in Northampton County for many years, and I have had many conversations, many, many conversations. The, um, <laughs> we believe that they should be held to that account there, and there is no reason why Rockefeller Group cannot ask and both GPA, Krieger, and GPI, their um, engineer, have reached out to Rockefeller to say that they would entertain a extra work order to turn what would be the bridge that we're paying for a two-lane bridge into a three-lane bridge, thereby Ooh, giving brief. the people of Allen Township specifically what they think they need, which really is a turning lane. It's important for us in Northampton County because that would alleviate a huge backup of traffic right in front of Wayne Group Memorial Park entrance. Um, it also is right by where the schools are. Uh, so this serves many, many purposes. Uh, the Rockefeller Group has repeatedly tried to walk away from their agreement and most recently had asked uh, Allen Township to release them of their agreement to uh, make that a three-lane bridge. but. All parties on our side responsible for building a bridge are open to and more than willing to facilitate making that a three-lane bridge so that so long as Rockefeller Group pays for the third lane addition. Okay. So we've been very clear about that in every meeting, letters and elsewhere. Yeah, I, I believe the question in the letter specifically was whether or not we wanted to remove it from the project. And yeah, so you're saying it's no. Yeah, that, it, no, actually, it, they've been told several times, not just no, but hell no, it's part of the project. It's okay. expected to be completed. They have been told in, in so many meetings that we expect them, if Rockefeller does not move forward, to build a two-lane bridge. But it's part of the project. There's no reason to take it out of the project. And uh, it needs to, that is one of the uh, nine bridges that is actually structurally deficient. So it does, in, in fact, need to be replaced. It's not functionally obsolete, structurally deficient. Okay. Well, that's clear to me. <laughs> there you go. All right. Uh, any other new business? Council committee reports. Do we have any council committee reports? Not really? Not None. First meeting. Oh, I love holiday weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Council liaison reports. I don't have one. Yeah, you have that doesn't mean I need the report. There's nothing to report. Well, I don't have it because you are. <laughs> there was nothing to report. The prison's running fine. Population is level. Um, you know, it's 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 the prison's the prison. It's fine. It's cold. It's dark. Okay. Okay. Uh, any other liaison reports? See none. Uh, Council clerk's report. Nothing. Really? Yep. May I ask a question? We did receive uh, some dates regarding the okay. the budget <laughs> hearing. Uh, what was lacking was a time. Yeah, uh, 4 30. Good. I just wanted to make sure. But it sure. hasn't been, has it been sent out officially? No. We, but we were just bouncing it back and yeah, forth. So the time will be on the official one when it comes out. Okay. Well, thank you. Okay. Yep. Um, no. Council Solicitor's Report. Nothing. Nothing at all? No. All right. I need a motion to adjourn. Ms. Peg Ferraro, second? I'll second it. Ms. Zerinsky, all in favor? Aye. So be it. Well, that was, that was like record breaking. Yes.